right, Violas, here's your practice video for Pixar music. Uh, so right from the beginning, watch your key sing tree of one flat, B flat, all F naturals, C naturals, and then there's some accidentals too, so careful of your E flat and C sharps. Uh, lots of down bows too, so keep lifting quick back uh, to keep it in the lower half. All right, one, two, three, four. <laughs> It's really easy, uh, but make sure you're using vibrato. Maybe shift up into third position so you can avoid all those open Ds. So use a two and then a one in third position, but definitely don't sit on all, all those Ds on an open string. Uh, let's do your soli section real quick. So that's measure 31. Uh, remember, we're in one sharp here. Lots of bow, play out nice and strong so your whole section is here. Heard. One, two, three. <laughs> So that's pretty simple. Um, and now we're in our next part. Uh, this is measure 37. We're adding a sharp, so now we have F sharp and C sharp, and we're in cut time. Uh, let's take a look real quick before 47. Uh, you have this little chromatic scale, an F natural, F sharp, but then it goes back to natural and then back to sharp. Don't use a second finger going up and down, back and forth. This could be all smeary. Use a low three for your F sharp instead. So you're going to go open D, E, F natural, low two, but then put your three right next to it, squish it back, so then you can go instead of going, you don't want that kind of smear in there. So uh, put that fingering in and, and practice that really slow a couple times. So let's do 37. We're going to do this slowly in four first, and then we'll go back and try it faster in cut time. But here's 37 in four. One, two, three, four. So a lot of stuff's happening in that section. 55, watch out for all of your double up bows, so lots of hook bows, and that'll be easier the faster we go. Uh, and then one that caught me by surprise, you gotta watch out for all the C sharps on the G string. So be careful with the key signature, you're automatically gonna have high three on G for this whole section. Um, and then there was one F sharp high three on the C string um, too, so be careful of that. So the high three C sharp is at measure 54. Um, and then you have a D sharp right after that, so a big jump there. Um, where's the other, the C sharps to watch out for? Uh, I can't see them right now. Um, oh, there's one at 52, the end, the end of measure 52, so be careful of those. Mark those real big. All right, so let's go back and try that in cut time now. So a little bit quicker. Here's 37. One, two, a one, two, three, four. One. Stretch. 
practice that slow a couple times until you can get that up to speed. There's some tricky things, some big jumps in there, um, especially marking the high threes. That'll be really important. All right, the next section, the glory days. This is 67. We lose one of our sharps. Now we have one sharp. We're still in 4-4 four, four time. Uh, but again, accidentals on just about every note. You've got low ones for your G sharp, low one for D sharp. And then, as I said in class, you're going to play that B sharp in the tri triplet as a low two. And then put a three next to that, same like we did uh, before 47. Uh, put a three next to that so it's kind of almost like a half position instead of going from low two to high two. So here we go with 67. Lots of down bows, too. One, two, ready, and. <laughs> So again, parentheses around a Boeing just changed at a different time of your stand partner. Um, and watch out for all the sharps in there. Okay, so what's coming up next? Some rhythmic stuff. This is after the two measures of rest, past 73. Uh, double down bow here, you're playing on one, the and a two, and then beat four. So here we go. One, two, ready, and one, and four, one, and four, rest to pizzicato. One, and four, one, two, three, four. One, and here's the next part coming on the and of two. Arco, one, two. One, two. One, two. Two down bows and. One and two and three and four and. One, two, three, four. Top of the next page, still that last little section of Glory Days. Uh, if you're doing the top notes, that's a D flat low four. Bottom person you're doing just a low two. All right, so then Ratatouille 107. Easy part for that, you can do all those quarter notes, static quarters. So let's skip down to 129, um, the intro into You've Got a Friend in Me. Last chunk, we still are in one sharp for a little bit. Uh, when we get to 131, no more sharps though, if we get rid of um, the F sharp. And here's 129. Uh, starting on the end of beat one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one. G sharp. note means you would play all three notes, but if you can't do that, don't worry about it. Just pick one or two, either maybe the D and A together, or play just the low A, and that's fine. All right, so if you didn't notice, 139, we go back to uh, two sharps, F sharp, C sharp, so watch out for that. Still lots of accidentals to worry about. Um, and if you didn't catch it also, 129, uh, we go to a swing, swung eighth note rhythm. So where your solo, solo is, or the soli rather, so you're going to Da, da, da. Make sure you're swinging the eighth notes through that whole section. All right, so as always, come ask me any questions um, in lessons or in class, and good luck.